Hi everyone, I am Lady Stars and Fire. My real name is Michelle Espinosa and this is our weekly reading or our weekly forecast to help us with healing as we move through this very week of February 8th until February 15th. I'm sitting outside today outside by my sanctuary. I just felt the need to come outside and do the reading with you. I want to remind everyone before we go any further in the reading today February 8th um, we have a new moon for those who don't follow astrology or understand the moon phases the new moon is when it also looks dark so it appears that you can't see the moon in the sky uh, when it's the dark moon or the new moon it is the perfect timing for setting new goals starting new beginnings making new changes. It is beginnings in a sense. It's a perfect time for that in your life. So that is important for you to understand because I'm being given information through spirit saying that it is healing counsel through physical growth. That is the new beginnings that you are going to be finding right now. I'm also being reminded to be aware this week. Be aware of your sensitivities. As your sensitivities are your creativity, your creative depths of self coming out. And you're creating them, intensifying them this week will be coming up and lifting. So I'm being told to remind you to be aware of your sensitivities as you are creating those depths of self to come up basically and that is the part that is explaining to you through spirit that it is the healing counsel through your physical growth the physical world in this world not spiritual or mental necessarily but it will be coming in through your physical growth of yourself then I'm being reminded, don't try to be perfect. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. That's part of being human. Stop trying so hard to be perfect is what they're saying. Um, and don't be so stubborn on your objectives. Maybe step back and view things a little bit differently so you can see the whole picture. Don't be so stubborn about things. Don't be so pushy about the stubbornness in it for yourselves. And don't try to be so perfect. Nobody's perfect. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Um, now, as I get into the actual reading, because I pull the runes each week, and when I do it, I always ask that spirit, our guides, our angels, the creator, the universe, gives us healing counsel for the week. So as the things happen in the week, they're reminding us what's coming our way and how to best deal with that and heal through the situations to better our lives. Um, starting off, I am giving Sawilo. But Sawilo was like, hello. Sawilo came in many colors today. It came in my Howlite. It came in my Amzonite. And it came in my Rodinite, which is telling us that it is awareness for you. It is your truth and honesty. It is your spiritual energy. It is your calming and your loss of anxiety as well as your love of yourself and love of others. Unconditional love in general. All of that is coming in. And so Wilo is your navigation. It is your time being available to you. It is your sense of your self-worth. It is the clear direction for your goals, your guidance, your path in general. Uh, it also comes teeming with algae. But algae is typically telling you it is protective or it brings protective energies to you. But I understand it is saying it is protective, but it, when it's coming teeming with Suilo, because it's coming in a background of understand this. This first little bit that I'm going on about is coming in explaining, understand Sawilo, Algis, and also Manaz are all coming in as a team. And 
Alges is saying, honey, you are that channel. You are the channel. Only you can channel what it is you want in your life. Only you can create that. Only you can bring that into you. You are the channel of spirit and the energy of your own spirit. Then coming, teaming in with Manaz as well. You have awareness of self. You have awareness of your self-realization in this world. Awareness of playing one's part. Finding one's place. Finding one's belonging. So all of these together, the Sawilo, the Manaz, and Alges are saying, you are the channel of everything that is you. And your spirit is what's creating it. So that's why they were telling us in the beginning, you know, that you've got to be aware of your sensitivities, aware of your creative depths of yourself, because you're bringing all of this up this week. Whether you want to or not, you're going to be seeing these right now and they're telling you be aware of what you are seeing be aware of what is being shown to you because that is your tur that is the turquoise coloring that I'm being given with it for healing counsel for you through your physical growths on this plane to mature your life to better your life to evolve it in a more positive way you are your own channel you are your own navigation you, the time is available to you right now. The clear direction to set those goals are available. And it is finding the true awareness of yourself, your self-realization, one specific place in this world, one's belonging. All of that is coming in with this new moon on Monday. But you'll probably be feeling it as the week progresses and the mo new moon is actually doing its job and helping you find these goals that you need to be taking. Now, that was... The understanding of that's what's going. That's what's going to happen this week. That's what you're going to be feeling. Now, the actual reading for this week is starting off with. Ooh, let me get it into my book. I always say that I'm going to use my book because the minute I start not using my book, I am failing, and I think I'm better than I really am because I'm going to start missing a lot of information that you all need to hear. Um, be wise. Also, this is Mugglestone. When I was doing the reading today, and I was pulling the runes, I could see my other stones, but I couldn't. This is saying, Mugglestone is very much saying, look at me, look at me, look at me, I need to speak. And Mugglestone is your empath stone. It is your uh, separation of energies stone. It is creative of energies. It is grounding. They are telling you, ground yourself. Even though you're being creative, be grounded this week. Because you're going to need that grounding energy to find what it is you're truly trying to go. That's why Mugglestone is speaking up so much. But back to Ewise. Oh, I dropped my ruin. <laughs> Ewise is the Yi tree. It is the axis of life and death. It is safety. It is strength. It is reliability. It is dependability. It is trustworthiness. It points to issues of discipline, darling, and the need for the total commitments to make what you're wanting to make happen. It may indicate a powerful intuition. It may feel also that it brings a great loss or deep discontent. It describes situations that can be of denial. I was just told for some of you it's going to feel like a great loss. Um, but again, coming back to what the runes say, Typically, I'm still being told for some of you, it is going to feel like a great loss and transforming change is what I was just told. Um, that you may be fighting, you may not want to go through. But in order to heal, you need to accept that and you need to be able to move on. Accepting it is accepting the past so you can move on. Um, yeah. They keep just saying the same thing to me. Um, also, it is describes of, of denial, simple deprivation, or hardships. Can show the presence of someone who is 
working with their own magical power or finding even their shaman training. Um, but it is regenerations of cycles. Uh, it is regenerations of cycles of life and death, with death being the rite of passage here. It is that letting go. That's why they're saying that great loss over and over and over again. Because, and they're also telling me, with especially with people who are working with their own magical power, uh, it is finding the endurance, that sacrifice, the undertaking rights of that transformation to bring the protective influence. Uh, it is your essential polarities of principles of light and dark. Resilience into the greater cycles of life. So a lot of times this also has to do with past lives. And some of us are aware of our past lives situations or our connections with people who are in this life that was part of a past life. Because you may still be dealing with losses in those areas that are also coming up in this life. And this might be why it's so hard. But working through this and letting go is how we move forward. It says it's also going to bring out your release of your latent powers. Yeah, is what I'm being told right now. Releasing of your latent powers. It is reliance of the greater cycles of life. Lives. Uh, power companion of walking the path. Like I said, they have a lot to say with EYs. So you may also just want to look into understanding EYs better if you're really being drawn to this right now. Then I'm also being sent to Dagaz. Dagaz is also coming in Mugglestone, which is still your creative energy. It is your separating of your empath energy again, and it is... Um, grounding in energy. So like I said, Mugglestone was just screaming. It was like, look at me. So it's it's telling you these energies are what you're going to be working in this week. But this is how you're going to heal. And if you're not working in them, you're going to feel a bit like a victim or a hostage. Because you're holding yourself a hostage. You're not letting go. Sorry, baby. I never said doing the inward work was easy. It sucks sometimes, but in order to move on, to have a happier, more healthy life, health is wealth, you've got to do this work. That's why I say my spirits are rough on me. They push me and they are hard on me. And it's not that I'm trying to be hard on you, but that's what we have to do to better ourselves and truly get to the truth of situations. Anyway, Matt to Dagaz. Dagaz points to awakening. Change directed by your own will and transformation. It is... Sorry, I was pulled to that specific part. It points to awakening, enlightenment, and or realization. Shows the sudden or unexpected shifts in one's consciousness. Um, or a complete change in the situation. But I'm being told... In, it's really going to be in your realization and awakening areas. Like, you're going to really see them this week. It rules the world of twilight and of paradox. But it is also the presence of, an, of a teacher or someone who is enlightened. Someone who is teaching. But at the same time, you have to be realistic with it because it can also be a trickster or a liar. Uh, points. Of awakening, awakened consciousness, enlightenment, left brain, right brain, balance, and realization working together. Polarities again or opposites and pol polarities will become revealed this week. Inner space connects with your outer space. It is your perpetual breakthrough. Unexpected events are arrival and the break in your rhythm and your natural rhythm and rhyme of life. Development, a new development, a starting development, a new vision, penetrating a new illusion, the gapping between worlds, and it is also the seeker. It is also crossing the rainbow bridge. It is spontaneous responses. This would be why in the beginning they said, 
be aware of your sensitivities this week because your sensitivities are going to make a big difference on the direction of the creativity that they take through your healing council and that physical growth. This is why that's important. Uh, hear the crows. <laughs> Uh, it is also deflection of attack. It is the completion of a cycle. And it is mastery of appearance and power of invisibility that are being shown to you. Then we're ending the week with them having us understand radio. Radio is uh, Thor's chariot. It is the world of rhythm, the world of rhyme. It is the dance of life. It focuses on matters of order, justice, and change through those preparations. Structure of outward control or of its issues, but it can indicate a journey over land, such as in a vehicle. Points to the presence of people involved in practices of law, skilled work, skilled ritual work, skilled art work, creative work, in general, rules, ceremony, magical rites as well. Principle of outward order and justice and change. The channeling of energy according to natural law. It is controlled movement and the dance of life. Uh, primal order expressed in ethical relationships as well as to the environment. But I'm being told specifically it's controlled movement this week. Um, ruin craft of outer self-order and one's measured change. That's basically what this whole ruin has been talking about. Ruin of outer self-order and our measured change, which is going to move us forward. Growth through planning and preparation. Experience in the outer world logic and ethics are now applied wise counsel justice just rewards and legal matters i was also just reminded the book just spoke and sent me back to jara and jara is reminding you this is how we harvest this is seasons it's nothing more than another cycle of life it's nothing more than a season and you are creating the harvest you will have in the future so work on you even though it's hard. I wish you much love. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I hope that you are good to you. And that you are wise with your own self. Um, I wish you much love again. And if you have any questions. Or if you want to know anything else about me. Or see my website. Or get the animal readings. Or get an, your own personal reading. Or just visit my craft. See my candles and so forth. Visit www.ladystarsandfire.com Bye. Love you. Hugs and kisses in the wind. Bye.